Factories close down. Communities lose jobs. While billions in profits flow to the 1%. How are we going to climb out of this hole? Here's the good news. There are places right now in America where communities are fixing the future. Across the country, people have found new ways to work, new ways to create jobs, and new ways to be sensible about using the Earth's resources. David Brancaccio from Public Radio's Marketplace and Public Television's Now on PBS takes a journey across America in search of what the 99% are doing to make things right. So we're on this quest to fix the economy of the future, not, the not just dig ourselves out of the hole, right. but right. maybe do better, maybe right. make the economy serve more people. Right. You think there are ways we could do better on the yeah, economy? certainly. We start in Portland, Maine, to learn about how a community network has neighbor helping neighbor and families stretching their incomes. It's called a time bank or hour exchange. Jennifer London is getting her basement weatherized. This is like um, the new kind of community. So in this country, we've lost a lot of the sense of community. People are so focused on just surviving economically that we completely lost our sense of community. And our exchange is a way that I have a built-in community. There are about 600 members that I can go to and ask for help. That's only the beginning of our journey. In Cleveland, there's a new way of working. No fat cat bosses here. We're talking a worker-owned cooperative. An industrial scale laundry is offering new hope to inner city residents. The uh, bet is when Evergreen gets started, like uh, we're going to fail because of who they hire. You know, and our bet is we're going to succeed because of who we hire. This is their last chance of being, you know, having a productive future or really doing something for their children or their selves so they know, hey, I can't mess this up, you know? And that's what we're betting on. How do we keep local businesses afloat when they're threatened by big box stores? Over in Baltimore, there's something called the B-Note. It's an alternative currency accepted by over a hundred local shops and restaurants. So local currency is a way of encouraging people to think about who they're supporting when they spend their money. Do they want to support a big national chain that's going to take it out of their community, or do they want to support the small independent businesses that are right down the street? Can local businesses work together to create new jobs and revitalize the community? You bet! The Business Alliance for Local Living Economies has over 20,000 entrepreneurs in networks across the country. In Bellingham, Washington, it has supercharged the local economy. We want to reconnect farmers with eaters, investors with uh, entrepreneurs, and businesses with the communities, with the ecosystems that they serve, have a relationship economy, as opposed to a one-night stand economy. Follow the money. If Wall Street isn't putting dollars into local communities, who will? Community banks to the rescue. They reinvest in their communities and are around to help businesses and families through the hard times. Oh, I can't imagine working with a national bank. I don't see how, there's no way we could operate with one. It just, uh, they'd just be too out of touch to understand what's going on. Fixing the future, a journey across America in search of community solutions to jobs and sustainability. Coming to theater soon.